Hi, Miller, please. Right. <laughs> I'm having a little experiment today. I thought we'd have a little bit of fun. Something different. Something a bit of fun. I was thinking, don't ask me why, but about three o'clock the other night, I was lying in bed, couldn't sleep, and I was thinking, what would I do if I ran out of wax? I thought, if I, because like I tend to store all my wax in one bag, and I thought, what happens if I lost it, couldn't find it, what am I going to use? So, I thought today, we'd have a go at trying a few different things. <laughs> So I went round the house and I collected a few bits and pieces. So we have blue tack, a bar of soap that I got from under the sink, one of the kids' lip soles, you know, the stuff you put on your lips to, so they can pucker up, a cheap candle, and I mean it is really cheap, I think it was like a pound for ten, um, wax melt that you put in your wax, you know, the candle burner thing, this is some tiger balm that you put on sore muscles, tea light, and some kids' play doh, some green. Just don't tell Jessie I, I nicked that. <laughs> Not that she really plays with it. Well, she does play with it because she, she uses it to, what's the word, do modelling. You know, modelling like you do with clay, but she uses play doh because it's easier. And some pens that haven't been used. Can you see the ends? Oh, and there's some shiny, so there's nothing in them. So, sit back, grab a cup of coffee, and have a giggle at this fool trying something stupid. So I thought, right, let's push all them to, to the side. So I thought, let's get that and make that soon short. So this is what the area we're going to do, these E's. Okay, so, yeah. So I'm going to better find some E's first, haven't I? Right, E is three three seven ones, which are them. Oops, can you see them? Like um chocolatey brown colour. So I'm gonna stick some of those three three seven ones E's in the tray. Same as I normally would. What should we start with? Should we start with a manky bar of soap that's been under the sink? I didn't even know I had this there. I'm just taking all the paper off to the side. My well, paper around is a bit wet, so it's obviously got damp underneath the sink. Just what you want to use, isn't it? So as you can see, the paper is stuck to it a little bit there, so that will do. Chuck it over there. So there's my bar of soap. So what I'm going to do, whoa, yeah, 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 it's alive, is I'm going to get my pen and I'm just going to scrape it and then push, push them into the end of the pen. So can you see? Where are we? There. Look, we've got some in there. So I'll leave that out there. Let me get a cloth so I can grind my hands on because Hopefully there's a residue on your hands. So right, so I haven't changed it, look. Still the white one. So now, let me put my chair to the side so you can see. Still the same pen, look. Not it down. It's just that I'm stood up and I can't see what... <laughs> I need glasses on to see down there, but when I'm stood up, everything goes fuzzy with these glasses. So right, so push down on there. So we'll see if so we're going to do some E's here. So let's have a pick up. Hey, hey it picks up, but is it going to release it? Ooh, it has left some residue on the thing. Can you see? Is it easy to get off? Yeah, not bad. It dropped a bit on there. So I'm wondering if it's the same principle. If I press down on one and get, if I do it over there, so it gets rid of. Can you see how it's pushed a load of it out? So I'll put that one over in my messy pile. Let's see if that's any better to work. Right, 
that works okay doesn't it and yeah it stopped um putting any of the candle wax onto the thing so we still got that much oh see oh shoot hitting the light so that's the one with some candle wax in that's the one that's not so them two three it did all right so we'll put the soap over there so if that works then in theory this looks like a bit of a manky one this has been on my found this on the back of the cupboard now you've got a tray underneath which you keep all your bits and bobs on underneath the sink and this is where i found this so god knows how long it's been down there i don't even know if it's gone to bits uh, so in theory i would think if soap works i'm wondering if this will work has crystallized smells nice though a calming of a quiet place so that's that one so that's the one that's dirty we can clean that out after so i've got another clean pen i'll do the same thing again push them in chuck that off to the side and i've got some scrap ones in here so i'm going to press down on the scrap ones like i did the other one then and then just wipe off the the excess and see if that picks them up so i still got some up you see the white so it picks them up and guess what it smells lovely as well i can still still leaving a little bit of the can you see a bit of the residue there? I don't know whether I'll try it again to squash it out. Maybe we didn't squash it there enough. Still some in there. Try it again. No, no, it does come out. I mean, it does pick them up, but when you drop them, even though there's very little in there, although it's easy to wipe off, It does leave it on there. It's not as clean as your wax, but yeah, so that's that one. So we'll get a, a clean. Should we try Play Doh? Sorry, see? See how squishy it is? So we'll do the same again. Excess off. You see the green in there? Oh, I'll do it there. Oh. There you go. Green in there, which is that one. I'll do the same. Find another one in here. Right, let's see if Play Doh will pick it up. No, nope. we'll just. And I mean literally just picks it up. If you hit the diamond just right. So what I'm going to do. I'll show you that one that hasn't got anything in it. And you see. And I'm going to see if this will pick up a diamond. Any of these diamonds with nothing in. Just to prove. So it doesn't pick them up. If you haven't got anything in it yeah so we'll try this one again it's not as easy to pick up it doesn't seem to leave any residue on top of the, the diamond so I think as I say you can pick it up it's not quite as easy as a normal wax but it will pick them up with a bit of if you hit it just right and it doesn't leave any residue on it so which ones have we used we have got that one's still clean whoops that one's still clean and that one's still clean you can clean them after so that's the play-doh <laughs> i don't think this will work this is lipsol 
This is your puckering up lip stuff. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So again, empty pen. And this is real gooey. So I can't see how the heck this is going to work. I don't know what possessed me to get this, but I thought we'll give it a try. So it's got some in it. Can you see? Oh, yeah. On there, so I'm going to press it on that one that didn't. I've got a feeling it's just going to stick to this one, but we're going to try it. Right, you ready for a mess? And it picks it up, puts it down, and I'm trying not to press hard. Now, let me do some down here so I can see better. It does work, it's better than what I thought it would work. Go on a bit while I keep putting back in. Um, I don't think it's going to pick up many of them. I think. So what was that? Four, three? Oh, yeah, and it's not picking up anymore. So you'd be going through a lot of that, wouldn't you? So that's your lip song. Let's try some blue tacks. Some I've heard people. I haven't even even opened this look. So, just some old sticky blue tack. Probably other brands of this one about. Whoop. Clean pen. Can't even hang on. Can you see if I put it on there? I didn't get to stay in the pen. Oh yeah, I picked some up then. Can you see it? See the bit of a hole there? So let's try this one. I've heard of people using the blue tack stuff or white tack, whatever. Yeah, this one works. Yeah, no residue, nothing coming out. Picks them up. Oh, this is really nice. I'm liking this. We fill in a gap in there, see what it's like when you've got to press it in a bit. See if anything comes out. Nope. That's good, I like that one. I like the blue tack. So, <laughs> now, we have, this is a thing called Tiger Balm, or Oriental Balm, it's stuff that you rub. It smells lovely. If you like sort of eucalyptus type smell, it's like um, like a type of uh, a bit like lip balm, I suppose. But it smells lovely. So I've got a bit on the jar there. Nothing on that one. Again, I would say this would probably be the same principle as lip balm. You'd be able to get some in. Hang on. Oh, sorry, I knocked your camera then. Can you see it in there? All squishy squashy. I'm just gonna squishy squashy. Fingers smell lovely now. Oh, it does smell lovely. So I'm gonna get one, picks it up. I'm gonna say, but it's, as soon as you put it down, you can see some residue on there. I'm wondering if I Squash one down there. A lot of residue come out on that one. No, not really. I'll use that one. So that's okay to push. Not brilliant. Again, I think you'd run out of it. It does leave slight resin on the top of the tiger balm, but it smells nice. But it works so if you were desperate you could use it so that's the tiger bar or oriental bar or body rock or muscle rub or whatever you want to call and the other one's just a cheap cheap plain candle now i've run out of clean pens have i got another pen i might have a clean pen let me have a look in my little drawer I thought I had a pouch of pens, but I 
seem to seem to have lost them somewhere. No, you can find boats and stuff, but no, no pens. It doesn't matter. Right, let's clean one out. Right, let's clean one of my ones that you know I got red wax in. So I'll show you me taking the red wax out of this. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? We're right there. So I'm going to get a pin in and then just scrape. See the wax? And I'll get it all out. See it? See it there? So just pull it out and now can you see how clean it is? You can see the gold. So we're gonna get cheap candle again, ten for a pound or five for a pound. I've had these a long time. So I'm literally oh you can't blink and see, can you? Doing the same as I did with the other one. This one seems a bit more crumbly though. So I'm just going to, where are we? Focus. See? So I'm just pushing it in with my finger. And then we'll try. So I've just had a drill on the side and just pressed down on it and that came out. Can you see the little bits there? come out so I'm gonna see I've got a feeling this one's not gonna be as smooth no because it just clogs it not manipulating very well so let me get another one out hang on there's another one there I'll go out scrap now if I press so it makes a sort of dent in the middle of it will that pick it up just it's nowhere near as good as uh, the wax melt it's all right no it's not I don't, it's not leaving anything on there now so that's that one so how many things we've done one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven so we've got one more to do which is again candle so I'm going to clear this one out Oop. so I'll quickly clear it out and show you it before I put any stuff in it so how's everybody's day going I don't know why I think of these silly things to do I just thought why not Three o'clock in the morning, it seemed like a brilliant idea. Now I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm thinking, what are you thinking? So, just a tea life, this is. You, and I mean, you can get um, flavoured, I was going to say, scented tea lights. So, I just r rubbed it in. See? As soon as I've got that drill there, that wonky one, I'll just clean it off. Get over. Go on, turn over. You don't want to turn over. Right, stay like that. I'm going to press on that one to get the excess out. I'm just going to rub it off. And then we're going to try again. So it picks them up all right. But now, as soon as you push down, even slightly, this one leaving loads of the candle wax so the tea life you can see it all up you see it so everyone you pick up and put down is leaving bits of candle on so what do you think What did we decide? So we're going to say no to that one, aren't we? Definite no to that one. I didn't like that one. Not keen on that one. 
What did we say about the blue dough? Like a blue dough, play dough. How much is all the play dough in? Did we remember the play dough in? That's the uh, red stuff. You know what? I can't see which is the one that's got the. Oh, there it is. Ah, obvious, it's got green in it. So, did this pick them up? Oh, it picked them up a few, didn't it? So, only a few. So, I think out of all of them, my favourite would be the blue tack. So, if you did run out, I would head straight for the blue tack. But all the others, move that out of the way. So, all these others you can use. We proved that you can use them. It just wouldn't be much fun, would it? And it could be a bit messy, but it would smell nice because this one, oh, that smell. Can you smell it? Can you? Oh, it smells lovely. Smell that one. Oh, eucalyptus. That would keep, if you got cold, that'd be ideal. That sort of smells just soapy. No. No, that hasn't got any smell to it. That, well, that's like a sweet smell. Soft scented dough. Mm. Yeah, so there's my experiment of what you can use if you run out of this old wax. But hopefully, you, <laughs> you never will because you get plenty. But there you go. So that's my fun video for you. Something stupid that Cal's done. So take care. Look after yourselves. <laughs> Thanks for watching my silly video. Take care. Look after yourselves. And speak to you all soon. Bye for now.